what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 4 season so today we are with our girl claire and she is at the gym you know working on her fitness we're her witness <laughs> you see what i did there anyways wow embarrassing the boys they're at work so i decided that it's her day off we might as well make a day of it get out a little bit hopefully meet some people and we decided to come to this health club which is super nice might i add it's like a spa but it has this really nice gym I and mean, look at that waterfall uh, looks like there's a yoga class going on upstairs. We have, you know, massage tables, all that cool stuff. I really like the place. Well, when she got here, someone happened to catch her eye, and it's this gentleman right here. I mean, ugh. He's basically my type, so I think he's missing a few tattoos, but you know what? He'll do. <laughs> His name is Scott Barrier, and they were actually working out on the treadmills next to each other, and they were having a nice little chat, and obviously she thinks he's beautiful, and he is the first guy that she's met um, that she's been like, oh, ooh, he might, you know, just be my type. He might be a bit of me. He might, you know, be not the one, but someone that, you know, maybe hopefully I'll see more of because, you know, they didn't exchange numbers or anything like that. And looks like she is going to change into her robe. Um, I do hopefully want to kind of like chat with him before he leaves. She does. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why does she have a bee hat on? Outfits. No. No, 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 no. You cannot meet him wearing that. Girl, he he will run in the opposite direction. Get out of that. <laughs> yeah, I want to be super creepy and, like, come up here and casually, like, you know, wait on the yoga class to be over. And then be like, hey, 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 uh, Scott. Hey, you know, um, it was really nice meeting you, you know. I mean, we're, we're going to be creepy like that. Uh, that's why I like Clara. She's a little bit like myself. This is something that I would do, you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do this, but... Well, okay, actually, I take it back. I would, but I wouldn't even speak to them. I would just, like, sit here on this bench and just, like, hope that they speak to me. I wouldn't have the confidence to, like, go up to them. Um, but this guy's hair is just so luscious. Oh, it looks like the class is over. Um, so let's just, like, hope... What is she doing? brain boosting oh yeah oh perfect just come in here and pretend like you're gonna join the next class that's that's girl claire i like the way you think so let's come over here you know and uh just kind of flatter him a little bit and say hey uh scott right it was really nice talking to you um you know i just moved back here i'm from actually brendleton bay and he's like oh yeah it was nice to meet you too i think you know she, he thinks she's pretty good looking himself. I mean, they definitely were having a nice conversation, and he definitely started the conversation, so I think that's a really good sign. Um, they're just, uh, well, they were talking, but uh, I think he's, he's, he's leaving now. Okay, <laughs> let's just have her join uh, this yoga class. Why not give her something to do? Um, I guess he might be going to take a shower or something. Maybe we'll run into him later. We didn't find out where he worked or anything like that. We don't know anything about him other than his name is Scott. And he actually lives in Brindleton Bay, too. She finally has her hopes up that she has, you know, met somebody that she could, you know, potentially, you know, see a romance blooming with. But, oh, no. Oh, I'm really sad, y'all, because... When I first came into the save, let me pause it real quick and explain this. When I first came into the save, there were some interesting whims that my Sims had. Clara actually had a whim to woohoo with Wyatt. Um, I did go out of their household. I had to, you know, change some things around in the neighborhood. And um, so I, I had saved that whim. I thought, I, yeah, I did, but I don't know what happened. It's gone now. But fingers crossed cross that it comes back up because I'm not lying to y'all she had the whim to woohoo with Wyatt which I found interesting because obviously I'm kind of low-key in case you haven't noticed trying to have them naturally progress um, romantically I just feel like there's something between them that they haven't quite 
picked up yet. Maybe they're kind of fighting it, but she can't deny the fact that she's attracted to him, and he can't deny the fact that he's attracted to her, but it goes deeper than that. They just, like, connect on, you know, a different level, and I thought it was really interesting that she had that win because it wasn't something that I forced. Um, he did have a whim as well. I mean, look at him. Look at those eyes. I mean, they're just, like, piercing me. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> but he had a whim to, like, cloud gaze with her. And, I mean, they're just, they're cute. I, I really like them. I don't know, you know, I'm not going to force anything. I really want it to, you know, happen naturally, which is why I was excited that she had that whim. But I don't want to rule anything out with, like, Wyatt and Stevie and her and potentially getting to know this Scott guy, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't think it's fair to, like, put, you know, all of our eggs in one basket, you know, this early on in the Let's Play. Um, they've only known each other for a little while. I don't think it'd be something that they would pursue if they do truly have feelings for each other. I think it would be, like, a slow-building, slow-progressing type situation with these two. But I'm going to have her just go ahead and finish up her little yoga session here. Uh, and then I think we're going to head on home. I think Wyatt is going to go visit Stevie, try to talk to her. Um, she's kind of been ignoring him lately and he just feels like a mug. <laughs> like he just feels like he completely ruined, you know, their relationship and their friendship. So yeah, I'm going to let her finish up and then we'll catch back up with Wyatt when he gets home from work. All right, so Wyatt is over at Stevie's house, and he is just asking her what's going on, trying to explain the situation, you know, understand that it was kind of off of me to kind of, like, ignore you like that, but there's nothing going on between me and Claire. You know, I do like you, and I wouldn't have asked you on a date or, you know, pursued you in this way, you know, if I didn't. So, they're having a little makeup, makeout session here, but yeah, I don't know. He definitely doesn't want to give up on Stevie because, you know, he's having this dilemma between his, you know, head and his heart. Um, his heart is telling him that, you know, maybe she's not the one because he doesn't feel it so deep and that maybe there's something he needs to figure out with Claire, why he has these feelings that he has that are a little bit unexplainable. And then also his head saying, no, Stevie, she's definitely your type. Um, looks like she's getting changed. Must be, yeah, we're having a heat wave. Um, but I'm not ready to leave. I, I want to talk to you. So can we do that? Can we continue to talk? But this is um, where she lives. She lives in Oasis Springs in this nice little... It kind of looks like a, a trailer, but it's like a little, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's cute. I like it. It's really small. I think it's perfect for her. Um, there's her bedroom. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the little ceiling fan. I think it's so cute. But anyways, yeah, I want them to continue to talk and, you know, him just, you know, just tickle her and flirt with her and just kind of reassure her that he's definitely not done seeing you know where things go with her and I think that's made her day I think that's made her really happy because she really does like him I mean who wouldn't he's gorgeous um but at the same time I don't really know why he's doing this because he's basically admitted to us <laughs> low-key and to himself that you know he has these weird unexplainable feelings for Clara and it's I think it's weird because he doesn't quite really understand what it means is it just an attraction there um because she's a beautiful girl or or what but you know he's always felt like you know or been told when you know you know and he kind of just knows something about her and he's confused i don't know it's just this confusing thing for like a deep old man like wyatt so let me know what you guys think about the situation um, but, you know, I'm not too quick to just, you know, give things up with Stevie because I really like her. I think she's a cool sim and so does he. And then also we know that, you know, Claire, while she does fancy him, obviously, he's beautiful. She hasn't had, like, this declaration of, like, an epiphany of herself. Like, oh, my God, I think, you know, I might, like, be low-key in love with Wyatt, you know? Um, she obviously had that whim at one point to woohoo with him, but it's, she's kind of confused. Like, is this a sexual thing? Is, like, what is this? You know, she's never felt like this either. Um, but also, she thinks that, you know, she's almost, in a sense, you know, not good enough. Like, not really his type. And, you know, even if he did feel that way, he wouldn't go for it. Because, you know, she's his best friend's, like, little sister, you know? So, I don't know. We'll have to see. And also, she, you know, just met 
uh, what was his name, Scott, and she's a little bit excited to, you know, hopefully run into him again and, you know, you know, potentially, you know, meet somebody. Like, she does want to meet somebody and she wants to move on from her stupid ex-boyfriend breaking her heart, but, yeah, I don't know. I kind of want them to, to uh, have a little makeup woohoo, if you know what I mean, so I think we're going to do that real quick. Um, you know, makeup sex, yeah. You know what I'm saying, make up woohoo. So let's come over here and woohoo with her. Uh, interrupt her nice little meal of a garden salad. Uh, girl, you don't need to be watching that figure because, you know, I, I got a workout for you that, that'll get the job done. Okay, stop being a pervert, Chris. Oh, my God. So he's just asking her, you know, what can we do today? And looks like he already completed the little aspiration or, you know, whim to talk like a pirate that is so cool exchange pirate yarns tell a tale of the sea i mean that is so random maybe there's something that i don't know maybe this is like a holiday elsewhere besides the united states like why would this be incorporated into the game talking like a pirate a little weird <laughs> but whatever okay why don't be a, 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 a pig like clean up after yourself son you know your mama raised you a little bit better than that don't come to a woman's house cook her breakfast and then She's just gonna throw it on the ground too. Oh, it looks like she's. Does the toilet not work? What is going on? Why was? <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh my God! I hope. <laughs> Shoot! I hope that this girl ate something off, because if she's pregnant, I'm going to like throw my computer because I do have Risky Woohoo on. I had mentioned this in the part when they first woohooed that I keep Risky Woohoo on at like a 10% because I like it that way. It's realistic. You know, realistically things can happen in your sim you and real life. It can happen. You can get pregnant. But this was not part of my storyline. I low-key was building up to her, you know, him and Claire getting together. Now, if he got Stevie pregnant, y'all we're in for a good story, honestly. I don't, I don't, it could completely change things. It really could. Um, oh God, like, I don't, I don't know. She's got to be pregnant, y'all. She's got to be. I don't want to cheat and look, um, or show y'all, but I'm, I'm pretty positive she's pregnant. You know, why else would she be throwing up? But we're just going to let it progress naturally, I think. <laughs> you know, I don't think that we're going to, um, you know, have her, like, show immediately, but, um, you know, maybe she's just starting to think, you know, oh, oh God, I better clean this up. Could I be pregnant? Maybe she's a little bit in denial. She doesn't want to take a pregnancy test quite yet, but, oh, Wyatt, son, you don't even know. I'm scared. I'm scared for him. Okay. I mean, I'm not scared for him. I think he's going to be an amazing dad. He's an amazing man, like Sim, man, whatever. He's He is. He really is. So I'm not even worried about it. But at the same time, it just kind of, th like I said, messes up my, my storyline I had going here. But, you know, it makes it even more exciting because it wasn't planned. Honestly, it wasn't. Um, I knew it was a rest that I was taking. But, you know, how often does that happen? Not too much. So I'm trying to find out, you know, where we can go today. Um... Maybe we can go to the park in the city. I think that would be a nice little date. And, of course, it would be raining. And look at her little thought bubble. She's like, I think I'm pregnant. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, I, I'm actually kind of loving this because it's giving me something to work off of, like, naturally. But, anyways, yeah, of course it's going to be freaking raining. What are we going to do while it's raining? I'm kind of getting annoyed with the rain. I feel like it. Just, my summers in The Sims 4 seasons have been so rainy. It just kind of ruins ruins everything because, you know, I don't want to go hang out in, in there, you know. I wanted to, you know, come over here and, you know, have a nice little drink and chat and stroll around the park, maybe play some basketball or something but it looks like that's not gonna happen because it's pouring rain and realistically you know who wants to stand out in the in the rain right so you know let's uh game plan two let's find something else to do all right so i decided to go ahead and bring them to this nice little shop over here maybe just you know look around see if there's anything that she likes we can buy her a nice outfit because that's just the gentleman that he is um you know, he, he wants to, you know, pursue her and, you know, let her try on some things. Is there anything here that you like? Um, 
and she's like, actually, I'm really tired. I think she's definitely about to ditch us, but I don't want her to ditch us. I really don't. We're having a good time. Um, I'm just looking around up here. Um, I don't think this is actually functioning. Um, okay, maybe, but I don't see anybody working the register yet. Um, over here, there's a bunch of knickknacks and stuff, which is really cute. Don't mind me. I'm just, you know, exploring on my own. <laughs> Um, but I think, like I said, that she is about to head on home. She's like, um, actually, um, I, I'm just, I, I don't feel good at all. And he's like, oh, okay. And she's like, I'll call you later. I just, I feel like I'm going to be sick. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Call me. Let me know you're okay. And, uh, I'm, I'm about sick of my sims always ditching me when I try to like take them out and do stuff you know honest to god I really am I guess I'm just gonna have him head on home but okay we're, we can go with the storyline that she she's pregnant okay she is she's thinking about a baby she's throwing up and I think she knows maybe she she's exhausted she has all those pregnancy symptoms and she's trying not to freak out so she's just kind of pushing him away in a sense where like uh, I'm gonna be sick I don't want him to know yet because I'm not really sure yet I gotta process this myself you know before um I, I really tell him and like you know you know he's she's got to come to terms with it first no what am I doing what, what am I doing go home I'm, why am I going to the map and try to send him home Anyways, yeah, he's like, okay, well, you know, I, I tried, <laughs> but, you know, he, he does, you know, he did realize that she has been, you know, sick looking all day, and he's noticed, she, you know, before they left the house that she was throwing up, so it's not, like, too off the wall for her to ditch him, right? All right, so when we got home, I forgot Carter was completely off work today, so I decided that they should definitely have their bro time since they haven't spent a lot of time together. And because I've been feeling so bad for our girl, Bella, I feel like she stays in the house all the time while we're working, that we would walk down to the dog park and just, like, get some fresh air since it's thankfully not raining here and just catch up. And, you know, he's kind of explaining to him how the date went and he's like, can you believe, you know, just trying to hint around, can you believe that, like, she thought there was something going on with me and Clara, you know, like, what, what? And uh, Carter's like, you know, uh, I mean, y'all have gotten pretty close and y'all have bonded, you know, do do you have feelings for my sister? I mean, I, I'm... I'm not going to be mad at all. I mean, we're adults here. <laughs> it's not a big deal. And he's like, you know, obviously she's beautiful and, you know, we're we're friends. And, you know, I, I can have a good time with her and, you know, really talk to her and open up to her. But, you know, no, I, I'm, I'm very interested in pursuing things with Stevie. And I went over there, you know, I stayed last night just to try to, you know, make amends. And Carter, get yourself back over here. How rude. <laughs> um... Anyways, I was trying to talk to you and just walk off like that. I was trying to make amends. Uh, we had a good night, you know, good night. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We had a good night. But this morning she woke up and, you know, she was sick, dude. You know, like throwing up, just being really off. And, you know, Carter's like, ooh, what do you mean she was sick? And he's like, no, I mean, like, she spent all morning in the bathroom. And then we, you know, tried to go to the park. It was raining. And then I was like, well, let's go shopping. She didn't want to go shopping. What, what kind of woman doesn't want to go shopping? She got really sick. Her face got really pale. And she was like, you know what? I feel sick. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Can I just, I'm sorry, but I, I got to go. And she just kind of left. She just ran out of there. And uh, Carter's kind of thinking, hmm. I mean, that does sound like a little sketchy. Either there's something going on, like she's sick, like for real. Or, you know, maybe she's, you know, which, you know, I don't, I don't think she is, dude. I think she's really into you. Like, do you think that she might be pregnant? Have you been using protection? You know, she's spending time in the bathroom. And he's like, you know, I mean, I think we were good. I mean, I, I don't think so. But he's kind of starting to sweat because I think that was kind of in the back of his mind. But he, he wasn't really sure. But now, like, Carter's kind of brought it up that she could possibly be pregnant. I think he's kind of low-key starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> um... So, I think, um, him mentioning that, I think he's definitely going to go over to her house <laughs> and kind of check on her and maybe, you know, ask her, do you think it's possible, you know, that you're pregnant? So, he's like, yeah, uh, I don't know, I think I need to go check on her. Um, thank you for, for, 
you know, talking to me and talking me through it really helped. You know, I missed you, bro. <laughs> and uh, can you take Bella home for me? And I'm, I'm going to go and see how she's doing. So let's go back on over and check on Stevie. Maybe she's taking a pregnancy test by now. I'm not really sure. But he's starting to sweat a little bit. He really is. And, of course, she's thinking about a baby. So let's come over here and uh, just kind of give her a little smooch. Um, hold her hands. Oh, she comes up to him and gives him a kiss. And she's like, babe, sorry that I left. I just, you know, I, I wasn't feeling good. And he's like, yeah, um, I, I noticed. Are you feeling better? And she's like, no, I um." I think there's something that I really need to tell you, and I don't know how you're going to take it, and, you know, I think she's just a little bit emotional about it, and I think he already knows what she's going to say, but, you know, I think she's just going to, you know, tell him, you know, I'm pregnant, I wasn't feeling good, I thought, you know, it was a possibility, um, but I took a test, and it's positive, and he's like, you know, I th we're going to be okay, this is not my plan, um, but I'm not going anywhere, okay? <laughs> There's nothing that could, you know, sway me, especially from, you know, my child. And, you know, we're good. It's going to be all right. I know this, you know, is out a little bit out of order, and we're not even official. Um, but I do want you to be my girlfriend. Um, if, if you are pregnant, which apparently you are, I mean, I, I want to be in my kid's life, and I want to try to make this work. She's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and so, yeah, they're official, and sh we know for sure she is pregnant. We have a baby on the way. Wyatt is a daddy. <laughs> and I think he's excited about it because he's a family man. Like, he wants to have a family. He wants kids. Um, but it was, like I said, definitely out of order. Like, he definitely is the type that, you know, wanted to, you know, have his own place first. He wanted to, you know, be married before he started a family. But sometimes life happens and you just can't plan these things. So, I mean, they're just going to take it one day at a time and prepare for this little bundle of joy that's about to come into the world. I'm excited about it, y'all. I did not plan this. I know uh, I, I low-key try to, like, sway things to happen, but this is something that I didn't plan on happening, even though I did have Risky Woohoo on. But, you know, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see how it, you know, changes uh, the dynamic between Clara and Wyatt now that he, you know, is expecting a child. Um... I don't know. I'm excited. I really am. So I hope you guys are excited. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment what you think, all of your comments, suggestions, everything down below. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.